Okay guys, this is Paxa Rubiana here from Pristina. It's my goodbye tour. This is the famous uh, church which was built as an occupation monument and has to be removed and destroyed because it's in the education site and it is in this beautiful university of uh, Pristina where we brought this medical equipment. Here you see some of the socialist uh, time architecture and all these old buildings and here Basically, it needs a lot of renovation, but uh, this church, uh, there should be a different one in Gracenica, also built uh, in order to replace this position, to have religious harmony, but not to have imposition of religious symbols on anybody. I think that's the best way for this multi-ethnic and multicultural and multi-religious country that the Republic of Kosovo is today. I call for EU membership in 2024, that is really very important. You see the Catholic Cathedral over there and it is important to have this country in the European Union together with Bosnia because there is this kind of appeasement uh, tradition in Europe uh, to make sure that only Serbia and the EU and everybody else outside. <laughs> this is wrong! <laughs> we have to make sure that the Republic of Kosovo, which is pro-Western country, European country, pro-NATO and really very much in mind and heart arrived in the European Union. I call Pristina the Brussels of the Balkans because it is a very international place. Here to show you, now we are of course a little bit in the traffic jam because it's close to 4.30 and I'm heading now to Tirana, the beautiful capital of Albania, a NATO country and I'm very happy to be in NATO countries. As you know very well, I just had an interesting talk about the foreign policy and I just can tell you this country is not enough supported by the Allies and that's of course something to be changed yeah, because we really need to change and we need to make sure that we have this beautiful country in the European Union, in NATO and of course also in the Regional Cooperation Council and in the full level of integration. This is very important and we can do that all by 2029 starting with NATO membership. That's the first step and then of course the Council of Europe, the WTO, UNESCO and all the other global organizations where Russia is now absolutely isolated so it's the moment for Kosovo to join all these organizations and that is the moment if ever there was a moment that is the moment I show you now the suburbs I have shown you the sunny hill over there and then we are going to the university hospital area over there here the university here the university hospital they wrote to and it's basically then a lot of traffic because people are commuting back uh, outside of the town and it's a very sunny day. It's now uh, the Easter week. It's Ramadan here. Everybody wants to be home for the Iftar or for celebrating with the family. And that's the tradition here in this beautiful time of the year when it's almost like summer. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I arrived from winter. I came in Austria. I came to summer in Kosovo because it was really so cold and so snowy in Austria and then we have this amazing climate here in the southern Balkans probably my favorite place in the world so I wish you all have the opportunity once to see the university here and uh, that's just a public university there are many private universities here there is the, the ambulance going to the university hospital and we are heading now on this road outside of the city towards uh, the beautiful uh, city of Tirana. It will take about three hours. Let's see how the road is, how the traffic is. And we are passing here Manhattan. And that is really huge buildings and amazing blocks in the center of the town. And that's quite impressive how high they are building at the moment here in this beautiful place. And I hope it will be absolutely spectacular progress and that we will achieve many things in the coming days also in Albania. I hope it will be interesting. I will call for the Euro for Albania and all of you who followed me will see much of the progress in Albania and you have seen now Serbia, you have seen Macedonia, you've seen Kosovo, you see Albania. That will be the four country tour and I will do another tour in the coming weeks. Let's see what I can achieve. And I will call for the recognition of Kosovo by Ukraine, by Moldova, by Georgia and all these beautiful, um, amazing allies in European Union of 37. Because that's the EU 37 tour. I will do that. 
I will make sure that it is very successful and I will make sure that we have uh, this EU 37 by 2029 and I know that Wolfgang and Abbas and Gerald and uh, Michael they don't agree <laughs> but I don't care we have to create the world as it is really based on our values and we have to shape the events of our time according to our values not according to the priorities of some nationalist or socialist politicians in some really bizarre member states but it's not the Bulgarians who can dominate us or not the FDP who can dominate us. We have to work for the European values and that's exactly what I'm doing and I will continue. And here there is the beautiful cathedral of Kosovo. Here the towers and then I think we are basically going straight onwards to show you the Peyton and here is the bishopric, the archbishop. Here will be the parking non toxor the big parking center in the center. This will be also relieving the traffic a lot and then the whole city will be booming and it is actually booming. I will show you more in the coming hour. I will do as many videos as I can from Kosovo, from the highway system, from the city exit and to give you a full impression how this city is organized, what are the issues obviously of the city and the traffic and how we can make this city even more perfect under European condition. And it will be the capital of European Kosovo, the European Union member state, the Republic of Kosovo in 2029. I will repeat it as often as is necessary until I achieve it. <laughs> so here from the center, more to come from Pax Europeana. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.